TikTok user The Raw Monster literally has several recordings on her account. None of them stand out as anything extraordinary except one. The recording she published nearly three years ago is quite mysterious. See for yourself, folks. Suddenly, she heard footsteps coming from the attic. The woman goes upstairs and checks the room. As she turns around, female notices a terrifying figure crawling towards her. But then, the recording cuts off immediately after that. What happened? Why hasn't anything else been published for over three years since this video? Was it something paranormal, or was it just a hoax? As usual, folks, you decide. Hiro and Tomo from the Omagataki Film Channel had posted a video for their members a few months earlier. They visited the ruins of a hotel where, as they saw, it was boring. Despite numerous rumors and dark stories, the investigation yielded no results at first glance. But after publication, many interesting phenomena came to light. Unexplained sounds, or the voices, and a ghost of an old woman that haunts the place. All this prompted them to go there again. When the team arrived on site and went inside, from the very beginning, they had the feeling that there was someone else with them. From time to time, the men heard footsteps following them, until they recorded this. まあ、でもないわけはないから。まあね、まあ、だって前回来てるわけ。そうそうそう。でね、やっぱりね、さっきからね、まあ、遭遇してないからいないんだろうけど、なんかやっぱり前回よりも人の気配が強く感じるよね
While walking down the stairs, Hiro once again records something interesting. This time in the corridor, we can see the motionless silhouette of a man. Seeing this, the men do not know what to do, and for a moment, they move away to deal with the situation. They decide to go back and talk to the person, but when they reach their destination, no one is there. Even after checking the entire area where they spotted the figure, they still fail to meet anyone. After what they managed to record, they continue their investigation. Hiro came up with the idea of staying alone in the building, but this decision turned out to be very wrong. Did you manage to see it? When Hiro sits quietly and watches the corridor and rooms, we see only darkness and no activity. But at some point, a creepy pale face emerges from the right and is literally next to him. Hiro is completely oblivious to the mysterious face staring at him all the time. He then disappears and moments later, Tomo and their cameraman come to pick up Hiro. So folks, what or who was it? Did they manage to record the mysterious apparitions that night in the abandoned and haunted hospital? Was the scary figure standing motionless, a ghost or a man? What was the scary face staring at Hiro? We will probably never know the truth, but you can judge for yourself whether it was something paranormal or not. You are the judges, you decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode and many more, visit their YouTube channel Omagatoki Film. Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown decided to take up the challenge this time and go on a nightly investigation alone to a place he knew well where he had been several times before, the infamous Westbury House. Originally, it was a mansion owned by a very wealthy family, then a care home and a hospice which was closed in 2017. So why is this place haunted? When the building was a care home, the staff was very neglectful of the people who stayed there, which translated into a high death rate of the elderly. After several years of neglect, abuse and misconduct on the part of the staff, the building was closed and has been abandoned for several years. Alex has already conducted investigations in this place and each time he emphasized that it is a spooky and scary place. This time he went there alone and while he was inside, this happened. Hello? Oh, f 
in hell. Oh my f***ing god. What the f***? The f***, man. What the f***? No. Swear to God, that just moved on its own. As Alex walked down the hall, there was a wheelchair right in front of him, which is suddenly violently moved. Undaunted, he continues to explore the building until he records something spooky as hell. Why is it on the ring now? Why, why is it ringing? This ain't good, guys. This is not good. <clears throat> so, guys, I'm using a Spirit Box S Box. It's very similar to the Spirit Box SB7. Which uses the white noise to communicate with us. So let's get that use this. S box. Can I help you? As Alex walks through the rooms, he records something disturbing in one of them. A massive dark figure is sitting on a chair. What's more weird, he doesn't even notice the apparition. Then, after a while, Alex returns to the room, but the mysterious entity has disappeared without a trace. Did he manage to record a real ghost on camera in a haunted care home? Possible. But at the end, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation and many more, visit his YouTube channel, Hunting the Unknown. Chris from the popular YouTube channel, Urbex Hill, went on another dangerous solo trip to Cleveland, Ohio. This time to an abandoned school, which is also supposedly haunted. A little nostalgia. Somebody's in there. Oh shit. Scared the f out of me. Oh man, f Oh man. Get my gun out. Hello? Hello. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, it's a fucking toy. 
Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <sighs> when Chris travels through the nooks and crannies of the destroyed building, he enters one of the many bathrooms. When he is inside, he notices a terrifying figure who turns out to be a boogeyman made by someone. But most interestingly, when Chris enters the restroom for the second time, the dummy falls as if some force knocked it over. Unbroken after what he saw, he continues to explore on his way and he encounters something much more dangerous than a stupid dummy. This is weird as hell. Oh, here it is. This place is crazy. I remember the last time I explored. Hello. Hello? What the f Okay, I know I heard somebody coming down these stairs. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. First, Chris hears clear footsteps above him, and then, while traversing the corridor, he notices another source of light, which happens to be the flashlight of another person. But what he managed to record next is goddamn chilling. Safe is still here. I wonder what's in it. Oh sh When Chris enters the office, something catches our attention behind the glass wall. We see a standing dark silhouette. 
Then, after a few seconds, we hear a thud, and when Chris enters the room, the apparition literally vanished into thin air. What Chris actually recorded on that cold night in Cleveland? Did he encounter dangerous people who played with them, or maybe something paranormal? It's possible that it's all just a well-crafted hoax, but also how to explain the shadow figure that disappears without a trace. As usual, folks, at the end, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this exploration and many more creepy places, visit his YouTube channel, Hubex Hill. Another video is from the YouTube channel Magnus Rishmir, who visited a supposedly haunted house in Norway. While exploring an abandoned wooden house, Magnus decides to look into the attic. This decision turned out to be fatal. As soon as he looks up, he sees a terrifying figure, which he runs away from inside as quickly as possible. Was it a real ghost or just a hoax? Choose wisely, folks. This time, the crew from the channel Ghosts on Trent went to an abandoned cemetery. Next to it lies a church which was built around the 15th century. Just yards away, there lies a field, where thousands of people were slaughtered as they tried to flee across the River Trent during the infamous last battle of the Wars of the Roses. Since then, there have been only rumors about paranormal activity in the church and cemetery. To find out, the team went there to conduct their own investigation. Yeah. 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 Wait, on. there was a shadow. Keep covering. Did you see it? I think I got it on the camera. <laughs> I swear there was a shadow yeah, down on the wall. You're going to show yourself to us. Keep calling. Did you? Keep was you filming at the same time? I was filming at the same time, mate. Yeah. So I, I swear there's a, I swear there was a shadow, and it, it was on that wall at the bottom. You're doing okay. We're just trying to talk to you. Just want to communicate. You. Don't do it all on the That's good, that is. Yeah. Can you go all the way Mate. up to the red? Yeah, no lights at all. Yeah, take it to red for us. See if we can do that. Thank oh. you. It moved. Oh. That moved, that did. It moved. I heard it, it, it heard it get pushed yeah. across the grass. Yeah. It did. Oh, shit. No, None no, of us were recording. I think I've got that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's gone. It got pushed across the grass. I, I heard it and I, I yeah. saw it with my eyes coming like no coming to a stop. Yeah, we are. No, we are. We've got oh, yeah. I'm sure I've work. got that. Yeah. Can you do it again, please? Fabulous. Trust me, I'd check that That's gone down the stairs. Check that, that footage because it, it got pushed it, across the grass. It went left because I saw it go. I, I heard like, the noise of the grass and then I glanced over and I saw it coming to a stop. The ball, I was actually rolling across the grass. No way. At one point, Tom noticed a shadow figure that unfortunately failed to catch. But a few seconds later, the ball that detects movement turned on. But that didn't scare the investigators. The ball was violently moved by an unknown force, and that was weird. The team continued until they recorded something more interesting in the same place. Is there somebody here? Would like to 
to talk to us. What the hell was that? that? I heard that. That was when I heard the voice over there. Something whispers them. Yeah. I'm saying. I thought I heard someone say shh. Yeah. I, I, but I can't be 100% sure. It's hard when you're outside, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. there's other noises. That definitely sounded female, though, didn't it? Yeah, yeah that knew. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. So, um, you're willing to talk to us then and communicate? That's good. During an EVP session, they managed to record the indistinct voices. Then they go to the path where something unexplained is captured. On the right, we can see the fading white anomaly, which might as well have been the breath or something else. But was it? Did they manage to record the paranormal activity in the haunted cemetery and the apparition on camera? Or is everything easily explainable? Decide, folks. Ghost hunting team Phil, Jeff, and Mark from the channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations went to the Viaduct Tavern this time. The tavern opened its doors in 1869 and is still operating today. But there was a prison nearby that had been in operation for almost 700 years. Many acts of violence and murder took place within its walls. Right next to the tavern, public executions were held, which was a popular spectacle in those days. Throughout the history of the prison that befell this land, the tavern that was closest is considered an active paranormal place. To check this, the team went there for a night investigation. There was like, I, I don't know what it was, some sort of noise from on the stairwell or further up the stairs. It was like a door moved. Hello? The crew continued until they managed to record something spooky as hell. There you go. That's what I was hearing Shh. downstairs. Okay, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Jesus. Hey there. There was someone that stood by me. Okay. There was someone stood right by me then. Oh, hang on a minute. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. There. Okay. I was stood here. No. Okay, okay. It was there. Were you trying to show yourselves to us then? Please do that again. I apologise. Mark, it made him jump. Mark sees a figure standing next to him and, 
On review of the footage from his full spectrum night vision cam, he has captured the face of whoever it was beside him. It is only seen for a split second as the camera pans the room. Something interesting happened during an EVP session. Mark claims that an apparition appeared right next to him, which he managed to record. Mark captured the mysterious face of someone or something that was obviously trying to scare him. But even after that, the activity did not decrease. It was awful. If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers, the old newspapers, and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out... Guys? Yeah? Yeah. Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? This time, Jeff captures something strange. A shadowy figure flies through the room that he is recording. Is it possible that it's the spirit of a dead woman who haunts this place? What did Mark really see? Was it an apparition? You have to decide for yourself, folks. What we saw was a real ghost captured on camera, or is it everything easily explained? You are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode, visit their YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. TikTok user Elgap Official is another of many interesting cases on this platform. The man claims that for some time, paranormal activity has appeared in his house, which is becoming more and more noticeable every day. After a few incidents, he decided to record all disturbing phenomena and publish them on TikTok. Amigos, no he podido subir spotlight ni contenido aquí en Snapchat porque me estoy mudando. Apenas acabo de llegar a este departamento completamente nuevo, de verdad, mil disculpas, pero ya les prometo que ahora sí en estos días voy a estoy solo y me acaban de cerrar la puerta que está atrás de mí que es la del baño no es la primera vez que me pasa justo eso les iba a decir no es la primera vez que me pasa no es la primera vez que me pasa se los juro y no hay nadie no hay nadie no es la primera vez que me pasa no hay nadie ayer grabé un spotlight en snapchat Y esta puerta se me cerró en plena grabación. Me acabo, me acabo de mudar a este departamento. Llevo pocos días en este nuevo departamento. Y este baño eh, pues fue en donde ocurrió lo de la puerta de ayer. Entonces un suscriptor leí un mensaje que me dijo que con una linterna y enfrente del espejo me alumbrara así hacia atrás para ver si se logra captar algo. O llega a pasar algo paranormal, pero pues de alguna manera yo no veo nada raro. Yo no veo nada raro, chicos. Entonces, evidentemente, pues voy a seguir aquí grabando cosas a ver qué es lo que sucede en este nuevo departamento. Este, no sé. En las noches escucho, en las noches escucho cosas raras. En las noches escucho sonidos extraños. Eh, entonces voy a estar aquí viendo a ver qué, qué más. As you can see, it started out quite innocently. We can see a door slamming or a mysterious hand. But that was only the beginning of the horror. Hace un rato se me fue la luz y he estado escuchando ruidos muy extraños afuera. Prendí unas velas, pero ya me dio miedo salir porque ya los ruidos ya empeoraron. Hay 
hay alguien parado. Hay alguien parado. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Quién eres? Se le ve la cara pálida. Se le ve la cara pálida. ¿Quién eres? Por favor, ya déjame. Ya déjame. No hay nada, no hay nada, no hay nada. No. Ayer estaba escuchando ruidos muy extraños arriba de mi departamento y decidí subir a grabar. No hay nadie. Y esto tiene candado, no se puede abrir. No se puede abrir. ¡Qué mierda! Ay, yo me voy aquí. This time, lured by strange noises, he faces the apparition that hides under the sheet. When a man comes and rips off the coat, it turns out that no one is there. Then, in the next recording, he hears the scary noises again, and once again records something interesting. The child's scary pale face peeks through the door. For the next few days, nothing out of the ordinary happens until one night. Son las tres y media de la noche y estoy escuchando ruidos muy extraños. Lo más perturbador de todo es que la luz del baño está prendida y no hay nadie. No hay nadie. Voy a apagarla porque neta me está dando Hay alguien al fondo. Hay alguien al fondo. Ya no hay nadie. Ahí está. Pero ¿por qué? Si la prenda desaparece. No hay nada. No hay nada. The man is woken up in the middle of the night, as usual. He's walking around his house, where he notices something creepy. In the corner of the room stands a terrifying dark silhouette that appears and disappears when the light is turned on. What has he really managed to record in those few weeks? Is this house haunted? What did he really manage to caught on camera? A real ghost or someone he knows who helps him in this hoax? As always, choose wisely, folks. YouTuber from the channel Kuroshiro went with the mysterious Mr. K to Tokyo. His new companion is a guide who knows the place where Shiro has decided to go. To an abandoned hotel where supernatural phenomena are happening. And most activity occur in room 108, which is believed to be a portal connecting the spirit world with ours. After reaching the place, the men start a nightly investigation, where at the very beginning this happened. ここですよ。はい。計算に。ここちょっと案内していただいて。お願いします。ありがとうございます。ここなんですけど、近くできない一室があるホテルって言われてる場所で、やばい部屋があるっていう情報で、もうその場所は1080室っていうここの一番奥
えっあげましたペンあげましたえっあげましたえっあげましたえっあげましたえっ Just after entering the infamous room 108, something interesting happened. Once inside, the chair is violently moved, alarming both men. Shiro and Kei decided to split up to explore each room during the night. Shiro went to rooms 102, 105, and 106, in which he failed to capture anything, so he continued exploring. Meanwhile, Kei enters room 301, where he managed to capture this. <laughs> 行ってみますここが301じゃあ上がっていきますねこ,こ,これ和室え今隣で落としましたえお風呂今完全に隣でちょっと音聞こえたんですけど誰かいいのかなえっ上行きますよえっ白くもしこれ誰か言ったり映っちゃったら僕はしかカットでお願いしますはいちょっと上行きますえ開けます誰もいませんなんでちょっと戻りますいや誰もいないちょっとこれえShortly after entering, Kay hears inexplicable knocks. Then he leaves and heads to room 302, where Kay manages to record a mysterious dark figure quickly disappearing inside. After a moment of consternation of what he managed to see, Kay enters the room. But after a thorough search, it turns out that there is no one inside. 
So folks, did Shiro and K record anything paranormal that night? Did K capture real shadow figure on the camera? Or maybe the explanation of these phenomena is much simpler. The final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit his YouTube channel Kuro Shiro. Rock and Jump Trampoline Park is one of several thousand places to spend fun time. You could say that the probability that paranormal phenomena occur there is equal to zero. But the one located in Westchester is a very interesting case. On their TikTok channel, we can see typical viral recordings and nothing extraordinary. But as time passes, the employees began to notice that the place could be haunted. Hey guys. I've been working at Rock and Jump for the past four years, and something that the staff and I have noticed is that Rock and Jump is haunted. We'll see the silks move at random times after we close. Dodgeballs roll on the ground. Stay tuned for more creepy videos. Employees notice such a huge amount of bizarre phenomena that they start posting them on TikTok. Moving objects at night was just the tip of the paranormal iceberg. Here's part two of Rock and Jump being haunted. While closing tonight, the staff witnessed the coat rack rolling on its own. and a chair flew off the table. Not only at night when no one is around, but while the staff is cleaning, the activity increases. Objects move or are thrown in front of the people who work there every day. They're obviously used to it by now. But now it's getting more and more interesting because not only poltergeist activity reveals itself at night or after hours, but this time it happened during the day. When the man approaches the desk, the bottles in the back fall to the ground. Right after that, we see everyone running away in terror. So folks, what do you think? Is Rock and Jump Trampoline Park really haunted by a malicious poltergeist that makes their job even harder? Was all we saw something supernatural or just another TikTok hoax? As always, you are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch each video, visit their TikTok, Rock and Jump MT Kisco. The well known popular Chinese YouTuber, Outdoor Xiao Long, went on another dangerous journey. This time, his target was the demolition building in a renovation shack area. 
Upon entering, Xiao Long noticed that many private items and a large number of photos had been left behind. At one point, when Xiao Long comes to the wardrobe, something unexpected happens. Inside there are family photos and ashes. But what scared him the most was the sudden and violent movement of the furniture on which he ran outside without hesitation. After a few minutes, the YouTuber goes back inside, where he manages to record something goddamn chilling. Okay,没毛病。这嘎这地烟就这儿他的烟灰现在都没掉是鼻子的一根正常我这个烟灰啊鼻子的一根看不到一会儿你能看到了手电手电哎呦我操我操你妈我操你妈的 when Xiao Long is alone in the room, in the reflection of the mirror, we can see that some scary black creepy figure is standing right next to him. But when the man turns around, he finds no one. So, folks, did he manage to record something mysterious in an abandoned and most likely haunted building? Or maybe it's just a well-prepared hoax. The final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this investigation, visit his YouTube channel Outdoor Xiao Long. One of my favorite Mexican ghost hunters, Ricky Velasquez, has gone on another hunt. Their destination was an abandoned building that is allegedly haunted by the apparition of a woman who died there many years ago. They decided to check rumors of paranormal activity. As usual, before the entrance, he started broadcasting live. Once inside, he heard this. Hola. Dice Ricky, dile a mi novia que es real lo que se vio ayer, que era en vivo y no hay nada de computadora. No tengo ni computadora yo. ¿Fuiste tú? No, hombre, no mames. Oh, oh, oh. When they were completely alone in the building, they heard disturbing sounds that only arose their concern. They continued their investigation and started Ouija board sessions. What they managed to capture during it freaks me out. Okay. 
¿Cuántas hay aquí? Espérate. Ay. Y se saludó de la familia Hernández y de lo decía Guanajuato. No es necesario hacer eso, dice. Tres. No, mami, ya no. Yo, tú dime, ¿a poco no sientes nada? Sí. ¿Pero no quieres más? Sí, pues sí, pero yo, tú estás jugando, yo no estoy agarrando eso. No más poquitas. Ok. ¿Y qué le ¿Qué otra cosa quieres que hablar de ¿Tú sientes? Se siente algo aquí ya, ¿eh? ¿Estás aquí con nosotros? ¡Liz! ¡Muérete de aquí! ¡Muérete! ¡Muérete! At some point behind Ricky, we hear a woman's voice. He immediately decides to check the source of the sound, which turns out to be the terrifying creature of a demon who is standing right behind them. Terrified to the limit, they both flee the building and end the investigation. Did they manage to record a real demon in a haunted building, or is this explanation for this phenomenon much simpler? Real or fake? You must decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this live broadcast, visit his YouTube channel Ricky Velazquez. Another recording is from the channel Urban Ghost Hunters, where a team of YouTubers went to the abandoned Memphis hospital. What? Yeah. Oh, no opening. No, no, no. Oh. Richie, Richie. Did you say so? During their nighttime investigation, one of them accidentally captures something interesting. A mysterious dark figure enters one of the rooms. Moments later, a man comes out of the same room claiming to have seen something. Is it a real shadow figure captured on the camera in the haunted hospital, or is it something else entirely? Choose wisely, folks. Ghost hunters from the popular YouTube channel Twin Paranormal, Ryan, River, and Wyatt went to the Cutthroat Brewing Company. In this supposedly haunted place, the team already conducted an investigation once, and they managed to record the shadow figure for the first time. The location is often visited by other YouTubers and ghost hunters. The entire estate is very active. Many times it was possible to record ghosts or shadow figures there, as well as poltergeist activities. So Ryan, River, and Wyatt went there again. When they were inside, this happened. If there's anybody upstairs, we hope you remember us, or anybody who is here in the building, we came back three years later, and if I remember right, we said we would come back. So we're here. We brought new devices, devices that'll help you a lot better communicate with us. Earlier when we were setting up, we heard somebody upstairs. We just came to say hello, spend a couple hours with you, and have a conversation, maybe gather some more information. Maybe we could find out if you're really a kid up there, or if there's something else that's going on here. 
Wait, that was a growl. That was. That was a growl. Just at the beginning of the investigation, the team was greeted with a growl. After what they heard, they knew it was going to be an interesting night. Anyways, as I was saying, when we go to these haunted locations, the ones that are supposed to be the most haunted in the world, most of the time we don't get stuff right off the bat. Not like this. You know why they became the most haunted in the world though? Is because you got people like Bigger that have been on TV or YouTube doing this kind of thing and get evidence and that's what, you know, makes it that way. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I am so sorry. That scared me so bad. Said eight. Children suffered. What if she's one of eight children that were here back in the day? She said she misses her family. Oh, yeah. Huge dude. families were like a thing so common back in the day. Whoa! What? Somebody just tried to hold my hand. Closer! Somebody just tried to pull my hand. No. Yes. Dude, that just went off by itself. I promise. I promise on everything. Whoa. The door? No, I just heard someone say, hey. You're a liar. Really? No bull Dude, my body is frozen. Whoa. Okay, we're here. We are calling out to any of the spirits who are here who can physically move objects. Whoa. Can you move that ball, please? Somebody's right there. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Just know we're here. You can do it. <gasps> wow! No way. Whoa! No All way. All that time! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, somebody is 100% here. You're okay here. Oh! Oh, <laughs> dude! Damn it. No way. As soon as we leave. Wow. Good thing that camera is filming. Careful, there's several steps. Bro. What? What? Someone just tried to open that door. I put that container there so it didn't creak. Curse. And Curse. someone literally just tried to shove that door open. I heard that. Hopefully we just caught that. Who's behind that door? Oh, that's weird, dude. They like tried it a couple of times. Are you out there? That's on the other side of that door. I'll prove I'm here. Oh, oh my god. Can you please knock the ball down then? I'm kind of scared to open that door, boys. <laughs> Me too. That was weird. That was really, really weird. For the next few minutes of the investigation, activity literally skyrocketed. Strange noises are heard in the building. Someone trying to touch Ryan's hand. Wyatt heard a shrill, hey, but that was only halfway through the night. You can't harm us. Oh, no. We gotta do it. Okay, can we use a light at least, maybe? Just to make sure that we're not gonna die here from something crazy. Oh man, here we go. We're gonna make our way out there, find out what's going on, set the ball there. It's happened while we were gone, so let's go figure out what's going on out there. We locked the doors, right? Doors are all locked. Adventure. Adventure. Who's out there? Make yourself known. Just to be sure. Hi. We're up here. Seems like you wanted us up here. 
Can you please step away from that? Please. Thank you. My heart is pounding very, very fast. I just don't understand how these kids can play up here by themselves with whoever else is up here with them. Did you hear that? If anybody can hear me, there's a ball downstairs. If you can knock that ball down, that'd be amazing. This time, we can see something mysterious being recorded on a static camera. First, we see something resembling mist form that come out of the wall. Then a white anomaly, something like an orb flying into a ball. During this eventful night, the team managed to record many more great evidence and EVPs. And especially the last session right at the end of the night will probably stay in their heads for a long time. Whoa, that was really f full. Is there really a child upstairs? The one that plays with the ball? Does anybody want to leave? Who is the evil entity that is able to choke people? Tell us who you are. Dude. Is there really a child upstairs? The one that plays with the ball? Does anybody want to leave? Who is the evil entity that is able to choke people? Tell us who you are. What? Whoa! Wait. Oh my god. Yeah, I heard the I heard a clear voice right after that other one. Wait, we got to listen. Dude, this again. is yeah, this deserves a replay. I think that says no f way. When you ask for his name. says no f way. Wait, you're kidding. Dude, no, that is clear. The final session of EVP brought quite interesting results, after which the team ended the investigation. Didn't they manage to get the ghost to move the ball again? Is this place really haunted and paranormal activity is on the agenda? Is everything we've seen normal? So many questions and no answers. So, folks, as always, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this scary investigation and many more, visit their YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. Casey and Colton from the popular YouTube channel Mindseed TV, together with Omar, traveled to northern Georgia to conduct a paranormal investigation there. A family who wishes to remain anonymous contacted Casey about their allegedly haunted house. In the building, there was a married couple and one daughter who was brought up in the Catholic spirit. But one day, everything changed. After she turned 15, she stopped going to church and started getting into some pretty dark stuff. Her mother began to find books in her room that were scary, to say the least, because they depicted witchcraft or satanic rituals. Both parents tried to throw away the books and drag the girl to church, but it was all pointless. It got even more spooky when a woman woke up one night after hearing humming coming from her daughter's room. Upon entering, he saw a girl surrounded by candles performing a ritual. After this event, the girl began to behave strangely and died soon after. Since then, at home, the couple experiences a sinister force that is definitely not her daughter, but something else, darker and more dangerous. After hearing this, the team of Casey, Colton, and Omar went there to find out if the story was true. What they experienced that night will stay in their memory for a long time. Alright, so uh, a lot of viewers have requested us to do this as well. 
First time giving it a shot. Have you ever done this? I don't really, I don't know. I think there's bad juju behind that. Kind of invites things. You're supposed to, uh, well, you're supposed to light it, and apparently, like you do, you drag it around the openings, the doorways, like, and it's supposed to prevent things from passing into that building, and also make things that are here want to leave outside of that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It creates a barrier. All right. Well. Of sorts. Yeah. Let's That's give it a shot. Here. Let's see what happens. Can't hurt. Yeah. I don't know. Not even. No. You guys can have your back towards that. Literally, the second that. I went to light the lighter and light the tip of the stage. It was like click, slam, crash, bam. Can't hurt. Yeah. I don't know. Not even. No. You guys can have your back towards that. If I was there alone, I would have jumped out a window. Let's That's give it a shot. Here. Let's see what happens. Can't hurt. Yeah. I don't know. Not even. No. You guys can have your fucking back towards that. What the f was it? Obviously, that kind of activity is a definite sign of aggression. Where the f that? Where'd that, where'd, where'd that come from? It sounded like he was from down this way. The kitchen? I think so. And even Omar noticed when we walked in the kitchen, he said that he felt this drastic drop in temperature. What's up? Bro, it's like 10 degrees colder right here. Nah, dude. Oh yeah, it is. It's oh nice my God. Cold, guys. I go into the kitchen, and I'm immediately met with this cold. I mean, it was 20, 30 degrees colder than it was maybe just a few feet away. There's somebody in here. If so, we're calling, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. Oh. There's glass on the floor. There's books scattered all over the place. Oh my God. They're every where. So far, this is the craziest thing I have experienced in a, a many, many years. When the three of them sit quietly and are about to perform the ritual, someone is clearly not happy about it. There is a sudden sound of breaking glass in the kitchen, and when the crew checks the room, they find glass and books on the floor. After what they saw, they decide to spice up the atmosphere even more. They leave Omar blindfolded and the two of them go upstairs and ask questions. What happens to them is even more creepy. Whatever is in this house, can you please use the device downstairs? You tell us something. Anything that you would like to say? Any message that you would like to relay? You could also use the device in front of us. We have a yes, no prism. If you light up the green side, that'll mean yes. If you light up the red side, that'll mean no stabbed the words that omar was saying uh that he was hearing from the spirit box they started to get a little bit disturbing Stab, stabbed in the heart i start hearing all these different sounds some of them make sense some of them don't i don't even know what they're asking on the other side do you know about the young lady that gets to live in this house he's upstairs is whatever's residing in this house evil? What the f was that, bro? That sounded like a f straight door slammed. Suddenly, Casey and Colton hear a loud bang, and as they enter the hallway, all the doors slam shut, scaring them enough to run downstairs to Omar, who, after hearing what he missed, goes upstairs with the boys to check the situation. All the doors were locked except for one that led to the attic. Omar decides to go there alone, which was a terrible decision. Oh, yeah. It's cold up here. All right, this is kind of creepy. 
Oh, it's like black stuff on the chimney. Almost looks like blood, but maybe I'm just over exaggerating. <gasps> Bruh, there's like a freaking shrine over there. That's kind of weird. Let's see what looked like a shrine of children and like animals. And it was quite strange at first. Hello? Huh? What's up there? You good? Yeah, there's just a bunch of pictures of like kids. Pretty interesting. Hey, dude. How you doing? What the fuck was that? Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck was that? This chair dead in front of me starts charging right towards me. That was my cue to get the out. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck was that? He came flying down the stairs, and when I tell you, me and him locked eyes for a second, all I saw in his face was pure terror. Casey and I have been on enough investigations together. When I saw his face, my first instinct was turn around and run. I looked at Colton and it was like, let's fucking go. And as soon as I start running, I realized I forgot my fucking cell phone. While examining the attic, we can hear a terrifying groan above Omar. That makes him uneasy. A moment later, the chair in front of Omar is jerked violently and rushes towards him. After all, Omar runs downstairs where the other two don't even talk but run as fast as possible from inside. So folks, are we really saw something paranormal or not? Did they manage to confirm during their nightly investigation that there is an evil poltergeist presence in this house? Or maybe all phenomena are just a well-prepared hoax. Think it over carefully and choose wisely. Our first recording is extremely old from a YouTube perspective. I'll take you 11 years back where a man was recording his girlfriend while she was taking a shower. What he managed to record that day is spooky as hell. As the woman leaves the bathroom, someone turns the shower back on. And a few seconds later, in the shower curtain, we see the silhouette of a little girl in black hair and a white dress. Upon seeing this, the man immediately checks who it was but finds no one. So was it a real ghost or just a hoax? This decision is yours. Another recording is from the Takeuchi Camera Channel which this time went to one of the most popular haunted spots in Japan. It is also known for the large number of sects that perform rituals there. Takeyushi, after arriving at the place, says that it is too quiet. He decided to look for a suitable place to carry out his own ritual, which was aimed at summoning the spirit. After he did it, he went to the car for several minutes. After the time had passed, he again ventured inside, where he saw this. Just 
Ferro. When he arrives, he notices that something is clearly not right. The structure was broken and the meat was gone. Terrified by what he saw, he explores the area with the night vision camera in fear. Then he goes to the elevator, where a rather dangerous situation happened. When he's at the elevator shaft, Takeyushi seems to hear someone's voice. Suddenly, something strange happens, terrified that someone is behind him. Takeyushi falls into the shaft, where he seriously injures himself. But have you seen it? At the same moment as he flies into the shaft, above we can see a mysterious dark silhouette that we can observe for literally a fraction of a second. So, folks, after performing the ritual, did he manage to summon a dangerous entity that made him hurt himself? Or maybe it's nothing paranormal and we see what we want to see. You decide. This recording is from the channel Fourth Wall, well known to my viewers. This time, we will look at the recording that was sent to them anonymously. All we know is that a man went to the cemetery at night to record ghosts.
As the man walks through the graveyard, he notices something that haunts him. Just behind him, a mysterious little white transparent figure that practically resembles a child appears and disappears several times on the road. Did he manage to record a ghost, or is it just a hoax? You decide, folks. The old Ledgewood Village Cemetery is a pretty creepy place located in Stony Point, New York. In 1911, a village was built in this place, which has been hailed as a progressive new model of mental health care. Rather than being confined to a single building, patients lived in their own village, complete with farms, shops, and even places of worship. But nothing lasts forever. Overcrowding and lack of funding eventually led to horrific reports of neglect and abuse. After decades of mounting criticism, including accusations that the hospital was using patients as guinea pigs to test new experimental drugs, Letchworth Village closed in 1996 and is now abandoned, its decaying buildings slowly falling into disrepair. But there are a few questions and a dark secret that hides this place. Why did Letchworth, encompassing vast expanses of land and seemingly plenty of free space, choose to locate its cemetery more than a mile from campus, in the woods, out of sight? Why did he bury his patients, many of them children, with anonymous numbers, instead of building a tombstone for everyone? Were they trying to hide something? We will probably never know. Levy from Chasing the Darkness has already investigated this place once and managed to record something chilling at the time. Okay. Oh, hell no. Yo. Yo. No. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> that. No. That. No. No. <laughs> These windows are blocked. There's no animals in here. No. 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 That ran towards us. Okay. Oh, hell no. Yo. Yo. No. Mm -mm. No. No. Hell no. Yo. 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 No. 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 I'm going to tell you something. I've been to another location and this place never gets tired. This to me is one of the most haunted locations that I've been to. It never fails. Fails. Yo. Coming, coming. Mm -hmm. laughing at us. When the three of them are standing still behind them, we can hear someone running towards them. But no one else is around. They then manage to record clean EVPs. <laughs> After some time, Levy decided to return to this scary place together with Joe. When they were both in the main building, they managed to capture this. So this doesn't feel right. Well, dude, did you hear that? Dude. Looks like footsteps. 
footsteps. Because it's one <gasps> in front of us. <gasps> Once inside, Levy and Joe manage to capture something. A mysterious, dark, hunched, massive figure walks through the corridor. Did they manage to record real paranormal activity and shadow figure on camera in this dark place? Or is it just a well-prepared hoax? You decide, folks. TikTok user Axel underscore Loza underscore official posted something weird. At night, he wakes up terrified and records something eerie. In the wardrobe, we can see the face of a child who is clearly hiding. But when the boy opens the door, no one is inside. Was it a ghost or not? Real or fake? Decide, folks. The next recording is from the YouTube channel Equitum Dueto Paranormal, who, together with another ghost hunter, decided to start live transmissions. They went at night to a known location that is believed to be haunted, to an abandoned hacienda. During their stay inside, they both heard a female groan, and moments later, they accidentally recorded a mysterious dark figure standing behind the door, which disappears without a trace as soon as the camera is turned towards her again. But it wasn't just one strange incident. Right at the start of the broadcasts, they caught this. No, no, sir. Hey. No, mames. ¿Qué pedo, güey? ¿Se metió alguien? Sí, güey, como... Güey, es que está para protección, güey, pero parecía como si alguien estuviera asomado, güey. A ver, a ver, a ver ahí, Quineto, ustedes si pueden checarle ahí. Que regresen la transmisión, güey. Aguanta, 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 aguanta. Buenas noches. ¿Hay alguien ahí? Por ahí pendientes, este, Patito, comunícate con Alan y con Ceci. Jesse, perdón. No sea la de malas. Que vamos a estar ahí. Buenas noches. Hola. Güey, no mames, güey, qué pedo. During the inspection of the building through the window, they managed to record the figure of a woman in a white dress who disappears as quickly as she appears. So, folks, was it a real ghost recorded in the haunted hacienda, or was it just a hoax? Decide. World Paranormal is quite an interesting channel that publishes short recordings from a supposedly haunted house. It all started with a mysterious and cursed doll that was in the building. Since then, the family can't rest they experience a rather irritating poltergeist activity every day that becomes more and more visible. fridge just opened. Smoke 
you're trying to waste electricity. Actually, we'll get some because every time something happens, I can barely ever catch it. I swear I just seen something move over there. Don't mind you, we gotta clean. I got a daughter, so she's a little off. Uh, Reckless, and I gotta wash some cups. Bro, I just saw that out the corner of my eye. I wish I would have got that. Can you make it move again? No? Okay. Bro, <laughs> stop playing with me. Hello? Hello? Can you do it again? Oh, oh man. Bro, you just spelt water all over my floor, dude. Are you serious? Moving objects and opening doors are the order of the day. A few days later, he decided to record the doll cabinet, and what he managed to catch is spooky as hell. So, um, here we are again. Um, that little bottle of candy you see right there either jumped or slid or rattled but i heard the candy shake for sure that definitely wasn't quiet about that so we're gonna see what we can get can you make it move again if there's anything here can you make it move again Well, in the meantime, here's our uh, new beautiful cabinet we got for the um, haunted dolls. We got it for like 30 bucks. I had to clean it. Super dusty. And then it turns out that the dolls won't even fit in it. Which sucks because it is such a beautiful cabinet. A lot of space down here, but you know, I'm not doing that. I don't want to shelter them. Um, but yeah. In the reflection, we can see a dark being standing right behind the man. So, folks, is the paranormal activity in this house due to a malicious poltergeist making their lives miserable? And also, what he really captured in that reflection, a real ghost or maybe a person? Is it a real, legit haunting or maybe just internet hoax? Let me know in the comments below. Beach Army Hospital is an abandoned building located in Mineral Wells, Texas. It was built sometime in the 1950s, opening its doors in 1957 to active duty military personnel and their families residing there. After only 16 years, the hospital closed its doors in 1973. Since then, the base and hospital have fallen into disrepair. Operating for only 16 years, by age, the building is not your typical paranormal activity site. However, given the undisputed number of deaths there, you may begin to understand why this place is believed to be so haunted. Although the exact number of deaths is unknown, the team from the Lone Star Paranormal Research TV channel decided to check if the rumors about the place are true.
Alright, it's just me and you in here. Come on down. Are you behind me? When Justin decides to split up, Kellen in the hallway noticed something mysterious. For a fraction of a second, a dark silhouette is visible. Did they manage to record the ghost or just Justin? Decide, folks. This time we're going with Omar from the YouTube channel Omar Gosh TV, who, along with Casey and Colton from Mindseed TV, decided to go together to a place called the Conjuring Cabin. In 1839, Richard Myers, a successful banker, was determined to build his dream home in Georgia. On a secluded piece of land with unmarked graves, despite the fact that the area was known to be cursed by an evil that was conjured some years before, he purchased the land anyways and began construction over the graves of the town's dead. The construction went well, but strange things started happening as soon as Richard and his family moved into the house. Richard tried to have his local pastor bless the house, but the spirits only became angrier and started tormenting him and his family. One night during a thunderstorm, lightning struck the house, killing Richard and destroying the building. In a process, his family fled and never returned. After years of the land being abandoned, a new family built a home where the original one once stood. But a new family experienced the same horrors as Richard and eventually left the house asking for it to be destroyed. However, the dark entity that lived in the basement was not satisfied. It continued to haunt the house, seeking revenge on those who dared to build on its graves to this day. Many of Omar's viewers asked him to go to this place. Finally, the opportunity presented itself, and together with Casey and Colton, they decided to conduct a nightly investigation there. So we were all running our devices and trying to see if we could get some kind of activity come through. What'd it say? It said it's mine. It's mine. What's yours? Is it the house? That sounded like a kid. Look, you got bunk beds in here. It's like a kid's room. So we're upstairs on the landing, like the very top of the steps. And Casey's startled. I'm startled. I turn around and I know for a fact my camera caught it. Not what I envisioned. This. Oh, what the fuck was that? No, 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 Yo! No, 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 no. What the f There was a really loud noise coming from downstairs. What just happened? Should we go down there? The scary part was the minute that we looked down to see what it was, you could hear clear as day, audible footsteps running, and nobody was down there. Audible stuff is one thing, but there was like a light coming out of the room, and you could see the light just disappeared, like whatever was down there ran in and shut the door behind it. It was horrifying. From the very beginning, mysterious activity began to manifest itself to the three ghost hunters. Mysterious sounds, moving objects, or a rather creepy situation in which all three experienced phantom footsteps that was just the beginning of a night full of surprises and horror. So this is where you want me. Here I come. I think it's just a street light. Not that big of a deal, but I am hearing voices out here. I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and see if I can hear anything on camera. Okay, no, 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 no. That sounded like something just growled at me. I'm good. That was like close and it sounded like a fucking growl. I'm straight. If any of you are trying to startle me or you're trying to communicate with me, I can hear you moving over there. All right, I'm in here. Okay. Hello? 
anyone in here? The three of them decided to split up, which wasn't a smart move. Each of them was in a different place and each experienced something strange. Colton heard a disturbing noise from the barn. Is your name Tim? Oh no. Casey, who was staying near the cemetery, heard a terrifying groan of something inhuman. While Omar, who was left alone at home unaware, recorded something chilling. Entering one of the rooms in the children's bed, we can notice a sheet in which someone is standing. Then the sheet falls down and Omar goes downstairs where they all meet together. The team is sharing their experiences when suddenly... Man, I'm good. No, okay. Omar. Yeah, man. Not by myself. Jenga over there in the corner completely just like it just got destroyed. Something happened with him here in the barn. He's talking. I mean, it's like we're all talking at once. Casey comes rushing in and he's got something to say. As I was explaining to them what I had witnessed at the cemetery, I look up and I saw this figure. It was like a head looking out of the room on the top landing. Something looked like it was looking around that doorway right there. You saw something? Yeah. Come out. Come out right now. Oh. Oh. Door. I'm leaving. Whatever was up there just fucking charged us. You could hear it running down, and by the time it hit the bottom of the steps, it was like this force just like hit my chest. I've been to a thousand different places, super haunted places. I've never felt something feel like an explosion in my chest. Once inside, Casey notices a dark figure at the top of the stairs. Unfortunately, he fails to capture it. Then something goddamn scary happens. All three hear the sound of phantom footsteps coming down the stairs. And when the sound passes them, an unknown force pushes back with great force. After what they experienced, they don't think twice. They just run away from the building as quickly as possible. So folks, what really happened that night in the Conjuring Cabin? Is this place really as dangerous as the stories say? Did the three of them experience unexplained paranormal phenomena during their investigation that are difficult to explain? Were they really attacked by a demon near these stairs, or was everything we saw just a well-prepared hoax? As always, folks, choose wisely. Also, if you want to watch the entire episode and much more, visit his YouTube channel, Omar Gosh TV. Jason, Vicky, and Kyle went to White Collar Hall Ruins, which has a dark history. People have seen a mysterious ghost named Lady in Black, which few could see according to the testimony. The apparition only looks at them and then disappears. The team from the channel Haunted Stories and Investigations decided to check it out. What was that? Oh, I can't make that about what it was. I think that was actually saying something. That wasn't the chrome like the rest, that was actually speaking. Have you got the EVPs recorded? EVPs on, yeah. yeah. Grandad. Grandad. Is this your granddad? Oh, I've not seen it. I know the North is about. Are but... you one of our grandfathers? Flipping heck. Oh. What the bloody hell? Reg, is that you? Someone else's grandfather, because yeah. it's not mine. Joe? Wow. Uh, Harry? Oh. Hull, again. Was he from Hull? I don't think either of them were. When trying to contact, the team got quite interesting answers. They then completed the investigation and returned home. After a few months during the investigation in the same place with another crew, they managed to record this.
In this short clip, we can see the mysterious dark silhouette of a woman appearing behind Jason. Is it Lady in Black who decided to reveal herself to them or nothing paranormal at all? Decide, folks. The next video is from the YouTube channel Discovery Australia, where in the TV show, two investigators travel the world in search of paranormal phenomena. This time, Jessica and Phil visit Nevada City, one of America's most haunted towns, where the ghost of George Ivies haunts the place to this day. After nightfall, Jessica and Phil decided to start an investigation, but when they went inside one of the buildings, this happened. Is there anyone home? Did you hear that? It was inside. It was inside upstairs. It sounded like a female voice. Hello? Is there anyone home? That door's been open the whole time? No. No. No, it has not. Are you with me? Jess, are you sure? I'm serious. That was shut. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was shut. I am positive. Look at this one. Look at the bottom corner. Look at the bottom corner. Oh, my God, it's moving. It's opening right now. What the <gasps> What the Oh, my God, I feel sick. Holy <laughs> oh. God. What the hell just fell over? Almost sound like a door slamming. I just want to see if something fell over. Right at the beginning, they both experience inexplicable phenomena, hear footsteps, see a door move, or be interrupted by a loud bang they decide to check the cameras to have them answer the questions. But instead, they are even more surprised. Hang on, hang on, look at that, look at that. That's oh, open more. Okay. Okay. Wow. That swung wide open. Yeah, it's like they're okay, inviting yeah. you into the yeah. saloon. Go, look, look, look. Oh my God. Hang on, what? Look at this, all good, nothing around. Mm -mm. That thing goes down. So we have the door opening, we have the camera falling in the saloon. When they check the cameras placed all over the area, they notice something strange on one of them. In the saloon room where activity is said to be the highest, the door opens up by itself, and then the camera falls. Did they manage to record something paranormal or not? Decide, folks. The next video is from the channel Franco TV, where this time Franco went to Florida to one of his most favorite cemeteries, where he managed to record the mysterious figure of an elderly woman. After nightfall, Frank entered the graveyard and began his exploration. But after a dozen or so minutes, a large number of people enter the area and Frank was forced to go to another nearby cemetery which he also knows well. In this area, he managed to record a chair then moved by itself. Alright, so I'm now making it to where all the graves are at. And walking through here, you can already tell it's pretty quiet. Anything starts crawling through here, I'll hear it. I think further up here, there should be a mausoleum. As Frank walked through the area in the bushes in front of him, the viewers noticed something terrifying. Unaware, Frank was watched by mysterious glowing eyes, which people noticed and wrote in the comments. He then continued until he recorded something spooky as hell. 
and take out the K2. Marco. Marco. It's getting colder too. Can you try to turn off the flame for me so I know who I'm talking to? Or move the light with the red box? Or the little light with the green box or the green light on the K2? You like the full moon outside? Let me know you could talk to me or that you're here with me. I heard the moon makes spiritual connections a lot more easier and you get more of an activity. What was that? Hello? Are you the one that I'm talking to? Hello? Who's that? Hold on. I don't know if that was like a, a raccoon or something. Or an animal. This time, Frank encountered probably the same apparition as before. Only this time, he saw the entity. For a few seconds, something bizarre with glowing eyes stares at Frank. But when he decides to check what it is, the figure disappears without a trace. What was really following him that night? Was it a demon or an animal? Was the cemetery once again proved to be haunted? As always, folks, the final decision is yours. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this creepy investigation, visit his YouTube channel, Franco TV. YouTuber from the channel Herrera Vlogs went to a quite popular place frequented by ghost hunters, to the infamous Magic Kingdom, which has already been visited by, among others, Eder and Alberto. This time, Herrera and his team decided to check if this place is really that haunted. Parece que toda esta parte de aquí era como un zoológico eh, en miniatura, pero donde hacían una exhibición de animales, vemos que aquí están todas las, las jaulas del show que se presentaría en esta parte central de aquí. Seguramente algún show con animales domesticados, es lo más seguro, ya que pues aquí pueden verlo todas las gradas. Vale, pues ya avanzamos bastante tramo, desde hasta por allá que estaban las canchas y aquí una zona aparte. Eh, llegamos hasta esta parte de acá bueno en general todo esto seguía siendo parte del parque aquí vemos las, las gradas de, de esta sección de acá vemos incluso que aquí hay una conexión de enchufe y algunas cosas me imagino que aquí sí debían hacer como obras teatrales o representaciones del parque más que nada espectáculos como un show no incluso hay una buena acústica del lugar en un lugar donde ahora prácticamente está muerto por así decirlo alguna vez hubo gente alguna vez hubo familias hubo risas Ya no queda nada de eso, es se siente bastante, pues no sé, pero sí se siente muy peculiar el lugar en general y este ambiente es, es otro rollo, debo decirles, especialmente que ya está a punto de ser las 12 de la noche, me parece, así que... Pues vamos a... At one point, when they pass by the stands, we can notice something bizarre. At the top right side, you can see a dark, massive silhouette, which may be something supernatural, but is it for sure? Real or fake? Let me know in the comments below. Another short video, this time from the channel Jesus Ma Carbajal Montiel. Cristo, sacerdote, ra, ra, ra. Fuerte aplauso a nuestro Señor Jesucristo, Rey de Reyes. Canto de salida, cantamos al canto de salida con alegría, con esperanza. Le cantemos al Señor. In the recording of the service, we see something disturbing. Suddenly, the hand of the statue of Jesus moves, which is quite interesting. What do you think about it? Real miracle or fake? Decide. TikTok user Moradores Nocturnos has appeared on my channel a few times already. This is quite a strange case similar to Diego Spikers. 
A man claims he is being stalked by a mysterious and sinister entity. Recently, one of his followers sent him this. ¿Ustedes qué opinan? Lo mando una seguidora. In the recording, we see something mysterious captured on the road at night. Apparently, he's not the only one with similar experiences, but what he recorded recently is creepy. Todo había estado tranquilo. Tal vez no. Miren lo que está pasando. Ya no había pasado nada. Estoy jugando con mi hijo. Están haciendo caricaturas. Miren. Mi esposa está en el baño. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué carajo es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Ah, no mames. Ah, ah, maldita sea, vamos a prender el flash. Ahí espera, hijo. ¿Qué fue eso? No hay nadie en la cocina. Oh, mierda. ¿Qué? Ahora sí me dio miedo. ¿Qué es eso? Oh. During a quiet day, his peace is once again disturbed. When he checks the room to his eyes, a mysterious dark silhouette appears. Is this another recording of a shadow figure who nested in his house? Or just another fake TikTok video? Make your decision, folks. YouTuber from the channel Caesar Urbex, together with another ghost hunter, went to a well-known place, to an abandoned and supposedly haunted hacienda where they've been before. The last time, they managed to record the apparition of a girl. This time, it was similar, and right at the very beginning, they recorded this. Raro. Saludos hasta Mazatlán, César. Saluditos. Ya, ya, ya estamos de vuelta. Hay 500 personas, casi 500 personas en YouTube. Muchas gracias. Recuerden, César Urbex. En Facebook, si se llega a cortar, en Facebook no se ha cortado nada. Así que igual vayan ahí, ahí a dar la amor a Facebook, hagan paro. Pero bueno, vamos a empezar ya, ya la exploración de besaurios y jinetes. Ya para no largarnos mucho. La primera vez que la vimos, hermanos, y eso si gustas enfocar aquí donde okay. estamos entrando. La primera vez que la vimos en este lugar, hermanos, se acá okay. para que no sí, se para... Ahí, Vamos a ver, que no sé. El lugar fue en el... ¿El qué, güey? En esa... ¿El qué, güey? <coughs> Sí. ¿Qué, güey? Sí, ¿Qué pedo, güey? No mames, güey. Algo vio Memo, no mames. ¿Qué viste, güey? No se amó. No mames. ¿Qué pedo, Memo? Pequeña. As before, right at the very beginning, they managed to capture something. On the balcony on the second floor, the figure of a girl in a white dress is revealed. Without hesitation, the investigators run to see who it was. But when they're inside, it turns out that they are alone. Then men stay in the building for a few minutes and leave their camera downstairs. What it recorded is spooky as hell. The camera left downstairs records something disturbing at some point. First, we hear a child's laugh, and moments later, something flashes across the camera very quickly. Was it a real spirit that manifests its presence, or just a little assistant who helps to set everything up? So, folks, you decide. The next short video is from the channel Caballero Paranormal, which went live to an abandoned building where the devil lives. During one of the rituals, he managed to record something chilling. 
¡Vamos! ¡Uy, güey! ¡Me tienes miedo, ¿verdad? ¡Uy, cabrón! ¡No me temas! ¡Vamos! ¡Una vez por todas, materialízate! ¡Ay, hijo de su pinche madre! ¡Eso! ¡Así menos! ¡Materialízate! ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¡No mames! ¡Hijo de su pinche madre! ¡No mames! ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás, maldito? ¡Ay, güey! ¡No seas mamón! 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 As he summons the apparition to show himself, something appears behind the glass door. At some point, a dark horned silhouette of the devil emerges from the ground, where it disappears after a few seconds. The man quickly goes to check where the demon has disappeared, but the mysterious silhouette has vanished without a trace. Did he manage to summon the devil during a live broadcast, or is it just a hoax? You decide, folks. YouTuber from the channel PN Paranormal traveled to the Dumas Brothel, located on the outskirts of western Montana, to investigate the lingering ghosts of miners who lost their lives to mining, gambling, and murder. What you see? I'm trying to see where I want to put the ear to your corner. Oh, yeah. Just now, we just capture an unexplained voice that is saying hello. Here's a replay with enhanced audio. Left this camera roll. I'm gonna, we're going to take this upstairs, put it in that hallway, and just let it roll. Then we're going to just probably hang out downstairs and just kind of. Eat some snacks or something. Alright. And just kinda like let leg uh, let the You're touching that, yeah. What's that? Oh, I was like, dang it, you're touching it. <laughs> I thought I was like, yeah. oh and I probably get it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna like we're just gonna like leave it upstairs and just let it. While in the building, Harold recorded an interesting EVP. Right after that, he managed to catch something even more interesting. Around the corner, we can see something. The dark head leans out and looks at the man. Did they manage to capture a real shadow figure in a haunted building, or is it easily debunked? Decide, folks. Our good friend from the Middle East, Ihab Kashmea, went to the city of Jabal al-Jin for the first time. Where is the supposedly haunted building that has been abandoned for many years? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa hayat Allah ikhwan barra murab akthar min libyut Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-Tamat In sharra ma khalaq Ba'arfu ya khwan Al-halu bi haka ishi Wahad bifahit meh Talao Amma Bismillah ar-Rahman Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم While exploring the building, he enters the kitchen where a ghost appears right behind him. In the window, we can see a child's face, which disappears just as it appeared. Ihab immediately goes outside, but he fails to find anyone. He searches the area until suddenly... <laughs> ايه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم He goes to the window where he captured the ghost where he notices a dark head which hides quickly after being spotted and after all that he have has seen he has had enough and leaves the haunted area did he record anything mysterious during his nightly exploration? Is the figure of the child in the window and the one recorded inside real ghosts? Or maybe just little helpers and hoax? Let me know in the comments below. Ghost Hunter's Andre DMS official went to the former factory where he recorded something goddamn chilling. Okay, I'm on. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Uh, mesin mesinnya cok. Uh, mesin mesinnya guys, sawarm guys. Aman kok gantung ini, ini ruangan apa lagi nih? Ini ruangan apa sih? Sini nih. Oh kosong, mentok. Sini, mentok. Wah lah lah. Wah, anti, mangsat, tolati, patai sempal, asuh jaran, bajingan, apa oh, wih mau tuh? Aduh, eh, astaga. During his exploration, he decided to capture something terrifying at one point. Right in front of him, in a small window, he saw dangling legs that scared him pretty bad. What do you folks think? Did he manage to catch something mysterious, or is it just a hoax? As always, you decide, folks. YouTube user Payne Dice is quite an interesting case, like many recently. He has been posting quite scary videos of his house for several months now. Apparently, as GNNR claims, a sinister spirit has nested in his house, which from month to month boldly manifests its presence to such an extent that GNNR is afraid to leave his own room. <laughs> Hola. 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 Yeah. 
Ya voy por como que escuché también chillar a frijol. Concerned by noises from the kitchen, Gian and R goes downstairs where he meticulously searches every nook and cranny. But when he enters the kitchen behind the counter, we can see a quickly hiding figure who apparently does not want to be noticed. Then, when he thinks no one is there, he heads up and on the stairs, Gian and R turns one last time, where he notices a terrifying head peeking out from the corner. After seeing her, he runs upstairs to his room. But that wasn't the end. Yo la neta mejor utilizo esta luz y no prendo luces porque ya lo había platicado. Cuando se captan cosas es cuando tengo la luz este apagada y pongo poca luz. Lo mismo con las fotografías cuando las pongo en el modo noche. Para la gente que sigue mis exploraciones, ¿no? En eso hablo. Escucho un chillido. Creo que eso es frijol. La neta sí agarra que es. ¡Ay, cabrón! ¡Ay! Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío. Dios mío, Dios mío, Dios mío. Me está parando en las escaleras. ¿Y ahora qué hago? ¿Cómo me voy a subir? Hola. Escucho como un grito, no sé qué fue. No voy a hacer frijol. Está chillando. Déjame asomarme otra vez. Se fue. Ay, cabrón, ay, cabrón, ay, cabrón. Ay, cabrón, no, ahí sigue. No oh, manches, ¿qué hago? This time, there is an even more terrifying situation where a mysterious figure of a woman appears in front of him, preventing him from escaping upstairs. The character stays in the same place for several seconds and then disappears as if nothing happened. Is there really a malevolent spirit of a woman in his house that makes his life difficult? Or is it just a well-prepared hoax? You are the judges. You decide. Also, if you want to watch the full episode, visit his YouTube channel, Pain Dice. The next video is from our friend in Korea, D-Doc Michael, who again went on a lonely exploration on an abandoned building. Huh? <laughs> 그 캐비넷 뒤에 누구예요? 예? 우리 얘기 한번 해볼까요? 나쁘신 분 아니지라고 얘기하기 싫어. 어? 뭐라고 하는 거야? 얘기하기 가까이 잠깐만요, 잠깐만이라. 비 때문에 그래요. 그럼 내가 갈게라고. 잠깐만 계시죠. 잠깐만 이라이. 지금 빛에 엄청 민감하고 경계가 심한 것 같으니까 누가 계시긴 해요. 아, 제가 앞으로 한번만 나가볼게요, 여러분들. 네. 어, 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 얼굴이 어쩌는데 몇 분이신가? 저기요. 저도 우리 얘기를 합시다. 얘기 얘기 어 들어간다.
잠시만요. 어? 뭐야? 어? 어디 갔어? 어? 지금 카메라 잡고 들어가는 순간. While in the building, Michael enters the room where he heard the sounds, where he meets a terrifying apparition face to face. Behind the cabinet leans out the figure of a woman who hides behind her after a few seconds. Michael quickly checks where the figure has dissipated, but there is no one else inside. After what he saw, he continues until he records something equally terrifying. <gasps> 나오세요. 어? 잠시 실례 좀 하겠습니다. 어? 아! 어? 좀 어? 저기 뭐야? 여기 2층인데? 아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
este columpio, dicen los vecinos, los locatarios, los residentes de aquí, pues que se manifiesta de una forma moviendo columpios. Entonces, pues, no sé, vamos a empezar a grabar para ver qué es lo que manifiesta, se manifiestan o, o algo que, que logren percibir ustedes, igual que otros. Otras veces lo seguimos en sus comentarios, cualquier cosa, véanlo bien a detalle y pues estamos viendo. Pues trata de que se manifieste, ¿no? Pues para During the first seconds, we can see a mysterious female figure in the background. It appears out of nowhere and vanishes in the same instant. Was it a real apparition caught on camera or something completely normal and easy to explain? Decide. The next video comes from a small group of ghost hunters who haven't posted anything for over a year due to the group's disbandment. But in the recording from three years ago, they managed to capture something creepy. The team went to a place quite often visited by other ghost hunters, to a desolate hacienda in the middle of nowhere, in addition in a rather dangerous and hard to reach place. And they went there because one of them heard a story about a ghost of a crying girl supposedly haunting the place. To add realism, the team from the Elrin Condel Miedo channel decided to launch live broadcasts. Therefore, the recording may be of slightly lower quality. The team, after arriving at the place, wasted no time and immediately went inside where their camera captured this. While walking through the rooms, we can notice something disturbing. When the team is passing the rooms in the corridor, we can see the motionless figure of a woman, which none of the people even noticed. Then, after a dozen or so minutes spent inside, the team went outside where they managed to record this. <sighs> No por. No mames. Aguanten, aguanten, aguanten. Espere. Recuerden lo que dijeron. Yo no veo nada. ¿Qué ven? Yo, yo vi que algo pasó. Sí. La parte de abajo. Vamos para arriba. Vamos, 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 vamos. Tranquilos, tranquilos. When the team is outside, they manage to record a figure that hides imperceptibly behind the pillar which, after a few seconds, appears to everyone. Was it really the real ghost of the crying woman that haunts this place? Or maybe the answer to this question is much different. As always, folks, you decide. The next video is from the well-known channel Supernatural, where we will again see the exploration of a dangerous and abandoned building with a dark past. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
Kecil lah Lebar dulu lah Kadang Kom ya Tau tak ada diri Kau yang senang lah Kau yang senang lah Kau yang senang lah Kau yang senang lah Tau Kau yang senang lah Kau yang senang lah Cerita kita lulus. What so? Ayo cek. What so? Bang. Kau cuma cuci yang dari mana cuci lagi? Kau cuma kau cuma cuci yang dari mana cuci lagi? Oh, kau ni mah. While in a room with a huge mirror, the man turns around, and right behind him is a figure of a woman with black hair and a red dress. But it was only the beginning of the night, and the investigator did not realize that he would meet the mysterious apparition more than once. This 是不是？指定给他合计来就完了，操！温柔，一把刀，温柔是一把刀，一样的干飘行。指定的干飘就完事了，家们，这是这整个屋里边啊。靠墙蹲呢，你们自己看啊！我刚才是靠着靠着墙呢，看到没，家人们？我刚才靠着墙呢，操他个弟弟！来，献个身。必须让他现身啊，家人们，包括这啊，欢喜了没？可那就完事了啊。不用怕了，家人们，我们指定不能磕的，怕的啊！你越怕的，他越容易出来，知道不？所以说这种东西咱们不能怕啊，指定不能怕的，明白吧？我操！ This time. Twice, a terrifying female figure appears behind him. Interestingly, each time we observe that there is no one besides the investigator, and the apparition comes and goes, which scares the man to such an extent that he goes to another place where he records this. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
感觉能求个媳妇儿啊，那必须，他领了我立马都求啊，只要能让我能让我大哥中啊。刘梦洁说的啥？刘梦洁，我叫，等会我让他叫我，我指定不叫我，我现在温柔啊，快想呗，我必须得给他温柔起来。刚才是不是在这里，家们？啊？刚才是不是在这里？嗯。This time, when he switches cameras on his phone, behind him is the same apparition he recorded before, and just like a few minutes earlier, the figure vanishes into thin air. Was all we saw a real ghost caught on camera in a haunted building, or a well-done hoax? Decide, folks. El Cubo official went all the way to Argentina with his girlfriend to a rather inhospitable place that is far from civilization. This place was suggested to him by several YouTubers who also visited this creepy location. Shortly after their arrival, they both began to hear screams and moans coming from the building. Um, pero bueno, ahí está el dato. Ahora, sorprendidos, gente. Sorprendidos de la cantidad de actividad paranormal. Inclusive está la, la, la tarea de regresar al hospital abandonado. Por ahí nos pasaron un pitazo de lo que pasó hace unos, unas horas. Y pues por ahí está la, la, la invitación nuevamente a que vayamos a explorarla e investigarla. Habrá cosas muy turbias, cosas muy raras. Pero bueno, me gustaría que ustedes mismos sean los jueces de estas transmisiones y que por favor compartan. ¿Cuánto cuesta compartir, amor? Es gratis, amor. ¿Es gratis? Es gratis. ¿No cobraban? No, es gratis. ¿Y por qué la gente no comparte? <risa> o sea, creo que la gente quiere, quiere que ya no explore. Quiere, quiere que yo siga haciendo debates a muerte. En el lado del cubo, ahí estamos haciendo debates a muerte. ¿no? Pero bueno, y bomba es preciosa que tengas una linda y bendecida madrugada. Saludos para ti, tu familia. Ahí se Cintia. Eh... Sí, hay buenas locaciones, gente. Hay buenas locaciones. Aquí no sé si se puede ver, no, no se aprecia mucho. Pero se ve como una, una casa así como que me abandonada. Y está bien perro, gente. Está bien, bien perro lo que en este camino nos vamos a topar en esta ocasión. While talking to the viewers, Kubo's camera records something interesting. And when he turns around and points to the building, we see a dark, mysterious silhouette walking past the building and disappearing without a trace. Was it a real shadow figure or something else entirely? Real or fake? Decide, folks. Dref from Dref David TV is an Indonesian ghost hunter whom I have featured in the past. This time he went on a long journey to Dubai, Ghost Town. A number of people have reported seeing shadow figures, hearing voices, and even being touched by something unknown. Many people have claimed to see ghosts there, and even one movie director who visited the place experienced a lot of horrific things and vowed to never visit the place again. After hearing this, all the team went there to investigate the whole situation. <laughs> Uy. Eh, no, pues está. Ah, pues me tao. Ani kanin lumabas. Dito man lang. Dito yung nakasilip, di ba? Ito may gilid nakasilip dito. Ito. Eh. Oo nga. Para oh. sa milip. Nawala oh. Yung mano yung Sige dito. Stay dito. Stay lang muna sa mukha. Naka record ka. Dito. Record mo. Uy. No. Tangkad. Tangkad siya. Hello? Wala. Ay, ay, may po. Wala, oh. 
Ayun no? Ayun no? Sumilip? Anybody here? Ayun na. Can you show yourself? Sa loob? Hmm. Papasokan niya yan? Oh, may ayaw mo, Miss Ben. Anybody here? Wala. Marami gamit dito. Are you here? Can you show yourself again? Dito sa isa, may pinto. Try mo. Huwag ba bago temperature? Just before they're about to enter the building, the SLS camera picks up strange signals. We can see the silhouette in the entrance as well as later inside. Later, Dref decides to conduct an experiment. Yana! When Dref is sitting alone in the building blindfolded, something suddenly touches him. Without hesitation, he escapes from the building where the camera is recording something interesting. When no one is inside, we see a mysterious shadow quickly passing through the room. Was it something paranormal? Could this building really be called haunted? Or was everything we saw easy to explain and disprove? It's up to you folks, you decide. TikTok user Josh.Fletch recorded something horrifying during his overnight stay in the haunted penitentiary. I uh, may or may not have climbed up because there's no stairs. At some point in one of the cells, there is a mysterious dark silhouette of a man, upon seeing which Josh runs away in panic. Was it a real ghost or was it just a hoax? You decide, folks. TikTok user Martina Mina is one of the most popular people on the platform lately, all thanks to the publication of recordings from her supposedly haunted apartment from which he records and posts more and more interesting videos. This time, we will look at the fate of her apartment. Mina, Mina, please, say mama. Mina, please, 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 say mama. Can you say the mama, please, 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 please. Uh, stop it. Mary, don't be scared, stop it. Oh my 
As you can see in several recordings, activity in her home has not decreased. You could even say that the spirit has become more and more aggressive. Is all that we saw real poltergeist activity or TikTok hoax? Choose wisely, folks. Moxley from the channel Moxley's Paranormal World went with other ghost hunters to the haunted Mill Street barracks in Liverpool, where it's been reported of multiple paranormal activity happening inside here. From shadowy figures, disembodied voices, phantom footsteps, and much more. Excited, they set off on a nightly investigation. Once inside, they managed to capture this. Go on then, Amy. <laughs> I'll come with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to try. It's in the middle of here. Yeah, I'm one for kicking cat balls all over the place. No, seriously, look, it's not like it now. The right hand window, there's something stood there. Yeah, just there. Just there. It's like something went like that before. And then, it was, and just, then and it, was a it was just black. pure blacked out. There's nobody in there. While passing through the rooms, something interesting is captured in one of the windows. We can see a fast moving dark figure. Was it a ghost or was it just a shadow of someone? Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Probably most of you have heard the name of this channel. For more than five years, we have been able to observe mysterious activity in the house where Kent lives. During this time, he managed to record countless pieces of evidence. Mysterious voices, apparitions, shadow figures, or even silhouettes of demons. But even now, what is really going on in Kent's house is unknown. This time, we will look at recordings of the beginning of the hauntings that have never been published before. While in the kitchen, Kent notices something disturbing outside. In his backyard, we see a mysterious figure of a woman in a white dress. We can watch it for a few seconds, and then we see it disappearing into thin air. A few days later, he records something equally interesting. Was that you? Are you walking up there? God, every time I hear noises up here, it doesn't come out good. Okay, I'm coming up, so if there's anybody up here that's not supposed to be up here, you better leave right now. Did I hear a child in here? Say hello. Are you a child? What's your name? Is your name Wayne? Oh, 
This time, Kent is lured upstairs by footsteps. Once he's upstairs, Kent manages to record a dark apparition on the stairs. Was it another sinister entity that was the beginning of the haunting in Carmel, Maine, or are all phenomena rationally explained? As always, choose wisely, folks. Also, if you want to watch this and all his videos, visit Kent's YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The team from the channel Guanc Gua P this time went to a quite chilling place, near the bridge where the tragic accident happened. A few years ago, a man driving a car lost control of the wheel, smashed through the guardrails, and fell down. As a result, he lost his life. In addition, under the bridge there is a wild river in which many teenagers drowned. Due to these tragic stories, the whole area, including the bridge, is believed to be haunted. The team arrived there and, as usual, began the ritual to summon the spirit. ถ้าแน่จริงก็เข้ามาเลยอยากเจอพอดีมันปักทุกข์มากเลยอืมจะไปดูจะไปผมไปนะเพราะไฟแช็คมันไม่ติดว่ะลมมันแรงลมมันแ
According to the locals, it is the habitat of evil spirits that often manifest their presence and effectively scare everyone from entering the area. Knowing all this, Alberto, together with their team, they go there at night, where just after entering, something greeted them. Yo, this is the Murano, no? Sí. Está curioso. Uy, tengo mucho frío. No hay nada. Oh, yo, yo. ¿Qué pasó, güey? La puerta, güey. ¿Qué pasó? Se abrió. Se, ¿Se abrió. Justo en cuanto pasé se escuchó el. ¿Y la, la Hoy, tienes? Qué ruido tan raro. A ver, 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 a ver. El azul. No mames, no mames, no mames. ¿Escuchaste ese ruido? Moving objects or doors that you should remember for later caused the investigators a lot of embarrassment. Podrían ser las luces. Pero... Sí está raro. Atrás, atrás. Aquí, aquí. Salió de allá, güey. Salió de allá. ¿Qué fue? Salió de aquí. Sí. Hola. Oye, una voz de niño que respondió, pero no se fue mi imaginación. Yes. Hola. No seas no no seas güey. Se una sombra, güey. Risa, ven, 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 ven. Risa, niño, ¿qué pasó? Ven, ven, ven. ¿Qué, güey? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? En esa puerta, en esa puerta. A ver, si lo ¿Viste? Vi, ¿Viste? Sí, vi, sí, vi algo, güey, sí vi algo. Y se escuchó una risa, ¿eh? Sí. A ver, ¿vamos para allá? Uy, oh, no mames, güey. Me dice. Uy, güey. No mames. This time, one of the crew members notices a mysterious shadow in the room ahead of them. The team goes there and checks if anyone is there, but they find no one. They continue their investigation until they capture something even more terrifying. ¿No se te hace raro que no se regresó esta puerta? Cuando hace rato como que se regresaba. ¿Y no la habías dejado abierta o sí? Sí, yo la abrí toda. La dejé abierta y ya no se volvió a, a cerrar, sí. Pero tú la dejaste. ¡Oh, ¡Chinga tú, güey! Ven, 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 ven. No la cerraron en la cara, güey, en la cara, güey. Do you remember the door that moved earlier? The same one was slammed right on Alberto. He immediately tries to get inside, but the unknown force prevents him from doing so. For the next few minutes until the end, nothing else happened. But while checking the camera, they noticed that something was following them that night. A camera left on the floor captures a shadowy-like figure moving into the room they were in at the time. What they saw that night at the haunted hospital, the real ghost, poltergeist activity, or maybe something else. So, folks, did they manage to record something paranormal that night, or are all the phenomena and apparitions we saw easily explained? Decide.